the Kampfgruppe or battle group was the main striking force of a German Panzer division. It usually consisted of one or two tank battalions, one Panzergrenadier battalion and one artillery battalion to form a well-rounded mobile fighting force. Germany's standard field artillery weapon was the 10.5 cm light field howitzer. It was adapted for service in 1935 and was used by all German divisions. It was typically deployed in two battalions of the division's artillery regiment. The third battalion of the regiment was usually equipped with the 15 cm heavy field howitzer, which was the basic German division level heavy howitzer. The artillery regiments of the Panzer divisions received half tracked prime movers like the Sonderkraftfahrzeug so Special Purpose Vehicle 7, while other units relied on horses to draw their guns. These prime movers had much better off-road mobility than the wheeled vehicles, but it was difficult even for them to keep up with the tanks during combat. Despite being the only equipment capable of movement in the harsh conditions experienced on the Eastern Front, towed artillery could not meet the rapid movement requirements of a Panzer division. The development of self-propelled artillery had been envisioned as early as 1934. The earliest solution was to modify a tank chassis to carry an artillery piece into battle. First, the 15 cm heavy infantry gun was mounted on the chassis of the Panzer I tank, complete with carriage and wheels, in place of the turret and the superstructure. 13 mm thick plates were used to form a tall, open-topped fighting compartment on the forward part of the hull. 38 tanks were converted in February of 1940 and were organized into independent, self-propelled heavy infantry gun companies. They were used in the French campaign in 1940 and later in the Soviet Union as well, and although the concept proved sound, the actual vehicles were very far from ideal. From early 1943, the Panzer Division's artillery regiments converted one of their battalions to self-propelled, full-tracked mounts. Twelve 10.5 cm howitzers and six 15 cm ones. There were two main types of self-propelled guns in the German army during World War II, and both were excellent. The lighter Vespe or Wasp, based on the still useful Panzer II chassis, carried the 10.5 cm light howitzers. It was a rough counterpart of the US M7 Priest self-propelled gun, which also mounted a 10.5 cm howitzer and was used until the early 1960s. The big brother of the Vespe was the Hammel or Bumblebee with its 15 cm gun. It was the counterpart of the US M12 gun motor carriage which mounted a slightly bigger 155 mm gun. But with a chassis purpose built for the Panzer III and Panzer IV components, the Hummel outmatched anything that any other army's self-propelled divisional artillery would see until well into the Cold War. In both vehicles there was enough room for the crew to be transported towards the battlefield whilst protected from small arms fire 
and shell shrapnel. The vehicles had good mobility and could follow the tanks almost anywhere. The guns were quicker to get ready for action and fire on targets than the towed artillery guns. The self-propelled artillery vehicles were used on all fronts until the last days of the war. It is interesting to note that parallel with the division level artillery there was a plan in the German army to put a battery of the core level artillery to a self-propelled full-tracked mount to provide long-range counter-battery support. The gun in question was the 17cm K18 heavy gun, which was considered a technically excellent long-range artillery piece for the German army, with excellent range and a very effective shell. The gun's greatest weaknesses were that it was quite slow to bring in and out of action and fairly difficult to maneuver and very slow to move off-road. Many were lost when their crews simply abandoned them when fleeing advancing Allied forces in 1944. The decision to build this heavy artillery based on an extended chassis of the Tiger II tank came in June of 1942. It was decided to design self-propelled mounts for the heavier type of artillery so that the latter could be brought into action as quickly as possible, avoiding the breakdown into small loads then transport by normal tractors entailed. In January of 1943 such a carriage based on the proposed Tiger II tank was ordered. Initially the 360 degrees traverse was to be achieved by putting the complete vehicle on a turntable, but eventually it was decided to simplify the design by making provision for winching the weapon of the rear of the carriage onto a 360 degrees traverse platform carried on the back. The first prototype was tested at the end of the war. However, due to Germany being on the brink of surrender, the vehicle never saw service and was captured by the Allies in the spring of 1945.